Well, it turns out the hierarchy of power in the DC Universe has indeed changed because they have found their guy, well guys, to be their Kevin Feige. Let's take a couple minutes to talk about the report that just dropped, the shocking news, and the fact that the legendary James Gunn will be sitting at the top of the pyramid. Hey guys, well, this has been the big question for DC Films, and we finally have an answer. Earlier today, we got an update from The Hollywood Reporter, and it is indeed true the hierarchy of power in the DC Universe really is changing right before our eyes. Now, this isn't one of the names that many people were kicking around. But apparently, in a really stunning turn of events, James Gunn, along with producer Peter Safran, have been tapped to lead DC's film, TV, and animation offices as co-CEOs of DC Studios. They will be reporting directly to David Zaslov, and finally puts all of the DC properties under one umbrella. Now, this has been an integral part of that long-rumored 10-year plan. We knew a couple months ago Alan Horn came on board at WBD to help this process, and hopefully they finally found their own dynamic duo. Now, recently Gunn and Saffron were spotted over on the Warner's lot, and many people assume this was them discussing with Michael DeLuca some projects that Gunn may have been coming up. But it turns out they were actually negotiating this leadership position. I think the big question for everybody is, what will each one of these guys do as co-chairs, and are actually taking a very practical approach. According to THR, James Gunn will focus on the creative side, and that's where he's strongest, while Saffron will focus on the business and production side of DC Films. Now, both of them are totally expected to continue to direct and produce projects, meaning they will be leading DC Films while they're developing various properties. In this process, they will report directly to David Zaslov and work side by side with, with Michael DeLuca and Pam Adby. Now, the report is saying that the deal actually runs for four years, and within its confines, James Gunn will be exclusive to DC Films, with the overall goal for them not just to be the producers, but truly function as executives, even though James will get to direct his own movie now and then. Now, we did get an actual statement from David Zaslov himself. And it does seem he is as excited as we are. The release statement read, DC has among the most entertaining, powerful, and iconic characters in the world. And I am thrilled to have the singular and complimentary talents of James and Peter joining our world-class team and overseeing the creative direction of the storied DC Universe. Their decades of experience in filmmaking, close ties to the creative community, and proven track record thrilling superhero fans around the globe make them uniquely qualified to develop a long-term strategy across film, TV, and animation, and take the iconic franchise to the next level of creative storytelling. Now, quite honestly, simply getting all of DC properties under one heading and having film, TV, and animation working together is something that was completely impossible before. That functionality alone should add a lot to the overall world of DC. Stack on the fact that Gunn has been very successful in the superhero genre means we should be getting some very unique properties, and his ability to connect fans to characters should give us something really to be invested in over the next couple years. Quite honestly, James Gunn is one of the most respected directors in the world of making comic book movies. Having him at the forefront of all this is absolutely awesome. It's totally a name fans will recognize, and although some fans might not necessarily love Gunn's work, you have to respect the success and the overall ability of him to tell a story that connects fans to sometimes rather unknown characters. Gunn himself is pretty reserved most of the time, but him and Saffron did release a statement along with Zaslov, and they said in their statement, We're honored to be the stewards of these DC characters we've loved since we were children. We look forward to collaborating with the most talented writers, directors, and actors in the world to create an integrated, multi-layer universe that allows for the individual expression of the artist involved. Our commitment to Superman, Batman, Wonder Woman, Aquaman, Harley Quinn, and the rest of the DC staple of characters is only equaled by our commitment to the wonder of the human possibility that these characters represent. We're excited to invigorate the theatrical experience around the world as we tell the biggest, most beautiful, grandest stories ever told. Now, we have a couple of DC movies headed into theaters over the next year or so, and those obviously were put in place before James and Peter took over the roles. I really do think this is a massively big win for DC Films. They finally have somebody to lead up their DC Films process. They have an interesting pairing that cover both sides of the creative process, something Kevin Feige really had a unique talent for over at Marvel, and I think this might finally be the big piece of good news fans have been waiting for. What comes next, we'll have to wait and see, but given what's been released over the last week, the Henry Cavill returning as Superman, 
Henry's statement that he's here to stay, and now this is three great signs that DC Films might finally be moving forward, and we have something to be excited about. Now, obviously, this is going to be a developing story, so over the next couple of weeks, we're going to be following it really close. If you want to get all the update on James Gunn's leadership position over at DC Films, make sure you hit that like and subscribe button, and we'll bring it to you right away. But until we know more, what do you guys think? How excited are you about James Gunn and Peter Safran taking up the lead at DC Films? And what do you think of this being a co-chair type situation? Tell me what you think in the comments below. If you like this video, make sure you hit like, click subscribe, and if you don't ring that bell, you're not getting any updates. Peace.